10 girls get down and dirty in a climbing competition that could be the toughest challenge of their lives. They all want to win the FHM Lara Croft Challenge, but there can be only one winner. Who will that be? Who can last the distance? Hi there. Welcome back to my humble channel. Feel free to take a look around. How are you? I am under the water. So, after that grueling lighting last time... Flashback. So we're back with a beautiful blackout blind now. So there's no horrific lighting. How much better do I look? Gosh. I've been studying. I do think I look like Lara. I think I look very much like a realistic version of like the classic craft. If you put an image of classic Lara, put it into AI to say, make it look realistic to today's standard. I think this image would come out the other side. <laughs> Today we're going to be reacting to a show from 2006 and it was used as promotion for the Two Made It Legend released in 2006. We've got Lara, Lara Croft lookalike contestants battling it out in challenges to see who's the best Lara who will win their place as the new Lara to promote the new game. So a lovely follower on Twitter told me to react to this. So thank you so much. At Charmed Chainsaw. So thank you Shiki. If I'm butchering your name, I do apologize, but I love you. That's for you. Yes, yeah, so, oh shit. So I'm really excited to watch this. It's like an hour show. It's like a one-off thing, like it's promotional, but um, this is gonna be interesting. It might be a bit trashy. It might be a bit like drama -y. Like, I hope they do those like confessionals, you know, like in all the reality shows you see. She doesn't think I fucking heard her, but we all heard what she said. She's been in such a bitchy mood all day. I can't believe she like set me up to fail. Like I would have been top three if she hadn't done that. You know what I mean? I could, should, be, should be doing confessions for a show. What show should I be on? Someone needs to make a show for me to be on. So on YouTube, it's just classed as Lara Croft Challenge. FHM, so that magazine like back in the, the noughties, I don't know if not everyone was gonna know about it, but it was like a lads mag FHM, I believe. Articles about video gaming and what movies coming out and gadgets and then someone with a knockers out halfway through. <laughs> what if I just did that? Okay, that's what that's, okay, that's what we need to do. That just brings the outfit together, doesn't it? Okay, let's watch this then. This, the one-off competition show from Australia from 2006. Let's go. Lara Croft, all action hero, international sex symbol and- Yes. Oh, bloody hell love it. 10 Australian oh, women are about to battle it out to see if- 10 Australian women. With the tenacious Lara Croft. Oh dear. Um, excuse me, we're already having knockers popping out of- <laughs> Okay, I told you this is FHMs, this is very lads mag, this is dirty, this is sordid. Oh, I can already tell this is not gonna be a great um, show for women. <laughs> I can already smell the misogyny. <gasps> Real firearms! Oh, wait, how did they do that? Because there, there's no firearms in Australia apart from military. Okay, so this, this had a budget. This had a significant budget. And they'll all be pushed to their mental oh, and physical limits. These I was gonna say, look at that cute smile from Lara. Look, charming innocence. Lady with her legs spread open and you're looking down at top. This this just shows you what we're in, what we're in for. I look so good. I look so good. I can't stop looking at the camera. Look at me instead of the sordidness. <laughs> I need to be careful what I'm saying because um, everybody should be in control of their sexuality and their sensuality. You know, how they reveal themselves is totally up to them. But when it's a show, you know that the producers are in control. That's what that's what gets me straight away. Like, were the girls in control? Did they say, yes, I'm gonna pose like this and I love it. Or did these cameramen and producers see an opportunity to take the shot? I don't know, we're gonna get, we're gonna get the vibe of the show as we go on. I need to stop pausing it and just have a look. In the end, there can be only one real life Lara Croft. Her prize, a brand new Jeep Wrangler and featuring their very own FHM photo shoot. So that's what they win. They, they don't get to be a model for to promote the, the game like I, I read before. So you get a Jeep, a Jeep Wrangler. Oh God, look, handling two stars. Oh, that's not good. I'm sorry, but as a prize, you're giving these lovely ladies, or one lovely lady, a car that has a handling of two. Think of all the the, the roads she could fall off with the handling on two. I can smell a lawsuit coming on. 20 years on. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, 
They win a car and they get to feature in a photo shoot. Tim photo shoot. Who will become the FHA? Uh, who the fuck are you, you dirty menace? Oh yeah. Oh man. Why is it not a woman? Oh my god, yeah. Why is it not a woman behind the camera? Why is it a man? Which Aussie girl has got what it takes? Mm. Lara Croft could not yeah. beat that. Lara Croft could not beat that. Who do you think you are? We'll find out her name and I'm gunning for her now. So, it's FHM. So what are we going to expect? I think they're going to put the girls through actual, you know, proper challenges that Lara would do. Like we've seen firearms, assault course stuff, driving cars in water, maybe survival stuff. But how much of it is going to be like the sexy part? Like they're going to accentuate that. Are we going to have judges? <gasps> You just didn't do that good enough. Um, we, we wanted a bit more from you. You just didn't give us enough faith. You seem to buckle under the pressure. I don't think that's what Lara would do. It should be me. Uh-huh. Anyway, so Lara Croft Challenge, here we go. Helping me judge which one will become the next Lara Croft. We've got three judges. We've got a guy, Cameron Knight, and two lovely ladies. After is Fox Footy's very own Tiffany Cherry. Tiffany Cherry, who are you? Fox who? Who's, who looks like Lindsay Lohan? As well as Simone Star. So I'm here to show them how to do it. My name's Cameron Knight. Now I have no previous expertise in this area. I'm just here for the perv. Ew! <laughs> My God, this just shows you how far we have come as a society. If you would have someone say that on TV, but you wouldn't get that now, I'm here for the perv. I am actually very upset by that. But that's an, that is annoying. That's just, that's what I'm saying, it's dirty. FHM, Nuts Magazine, all these things, they're very dirty. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> what about this Cameron? He's not suited. He's not suitable. I don't like him. He shouldn't be here. It should be me. It should be me. Why, why was it not like a Lara Croft lookalike? Why was it not a sassy, over the top, bitchy, and very blunt Lara Croft um, cosplayer as the, the lead judge. But if they do a reboot, choose me. <laughs> My name's Lara, I mean, Lisa Shay. Don't start. Don't start, that's not gonna impress us, darling. I'm Lara, you're you. <laughs> Shoot a call to arms for a girl with the right stuff. Did you hear that? Lara Croft <laughs> Shoot a call to arms. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck was that? Shoot a call to arm. <laughs> Pick me. <laughs> a Croft legend. Yeah, that's it. It's like a strain of muscle now. That's all you're gonna give us. Put your leg in the air. Look like you're gonna. You're pissing like a dog. You need to give us more than just putting your leg up, okay? We want a somersault. We want a backflip. We want um rolling around and shooting things. Don't give up so soon. I think she's gonna go first. Okay, so look who we've got around the table. We've got one female and the rest are men. Kind of nerdy kind of guys. Like these are very, you can tell these are straight nerds. They're loving their job. They must be, they, these must be from FHM. Needs to be as good as the great one. FHM shoot, every girl wants to do that, right? It'd be- No, no, not every girl, I don't want to. <laughs> no, some are very happy being mathematicians and nurses and you know, doing that. So no, not every girl wants to be an FHM girl, love. Set before them, we'll test their adventure skills, their driving skills, their swimming skills, their mental skills. Nice, okay, they're gonna really be put through it. Even get to shoot a fully automatic machine gun. Now, if that's not hot, I don't know what is hot. I want to strangle this man. I would love to strangle him. And not in a sexy way, not in a kinky way, in a brutalic way. In coming days, these girls will face five grueling, gut-wrenching challenges. Points will be awarded to the winner of each challenge, plus there'll be Lara bonus points handed out for grace and style under pressure. In other words, sweat and sex appeal. It's a point-based system like this. So it's only a few days, so they've probably filmed this in a weekend. I bet this was a tough shoot. 27 hour days, um, you know, no tea breaks, no catering, get it done. Turn up, shoot a gun, flip around, get your tits out, let's get it done. <laughs> a 
that not only will these girls fight each other for the ultimate prize, they'll also live together at the luxury Blue Mountains Hideaway just outside of Sydney. Those oh my god, so they live with each other. So we're gonna get some drama. Unless they're all very professional and they get along. But it's FHM. I can feel that it's going to be drama. It's going to be a mess. Those who crack under pressure will be eliminated along the way. The girl with the most points wins. She will become Australia's real life. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, my God. Don't shoot me. Welcome, ladies. No time to mess around. Unpack your things. You've got 15 minutes to meet me back here before your first challenge. You'll be getting into one of these. Unfortunately, I can't be present while that's happening. Curses. Oh. My God, this is disgusting. I never found you funny. I never found you entertaining. I never found you smart. I just found you annoying. I'm sorry, but I wouldn't go for him. I would not go for him. If he was like, look at me, I'm hot. Do you want to you wanna go out with me? Let's hook up. I'd be like, fuck off. Curses. But your first challenge will be... Laughs in embar embarrassed misogyny. You know when something's so misogynistic and sexist that you can't help but just laugh at the person saying it because you don't know what else, how else to react. God, this is awful. They're just like completely sexualizing women. Like they're just narrowing women, like these pe people down just like that one thing about them. The sexiness, the sensuality. I don't like this. Good luck. Before they get hot and sweaty, the girls' first challenge is to dress, pose, and do their thing, just like Miss Croft. I like the boots. Those boots are very nice. I would buy those boots myself. And speaking of vitals, oh, hello. Are 34D, 24, 35. <sighs> Did you hear that? He just said her me Lara's measurements. D, 30-something, and skinny, skinny, something, something. That was vile. Amazing. Tammy. I do Stylist. everything Lara Croft does. My nickname is Lady Croft. <laughs> what the fuck was that for? I feel good knowing that I could make it this far into the final ten. There's She's so very young. 18, like, like I said, is so me. young. Lunatic things and throw myself off ah. cliffs to roast and whatnot, so... Oh! Hi. My personal opinion is that Lara Croft is very down-to-earth, fun-loving sort of girl. She's stylish and classy, but at the same time she knows how to have fun. No, that's not she right. Know how to fuck. She's not a fun-loving girl. She's not fun loving, she's very serious. Well, she's not very serious, but she's serious and she craves adventure, but. Normal competitions, they're not, you don't find that you get along with a lot of the other girls, but this time they're all a lot like, we're all the same, we're all like each other. So we're just getting on like a house on fire, it's great. They get on like a house on fire. They've been, they've known each other for 15 minutes. The qualities I have that will separate me from the other girls would probably be, I'm intelligent. You didn't sound too sure about that. I'm intelligent. <laughs> These girls are up for it. Now it's time for the judges to get down to business. Think of her. She can hold a gun. That power. I just, you know what? She's that's, very sexy. That's it. That, that kind of, um, you I know, think so. Course. I can pout better than that. Okay. They that's a pout. She just looked like she was looking into the wind. The Said to you earlier, we were handing out Lara points to the girl that we judged to be the most stylish. Stylish? They're all wearing the same clothes. Simone. First place with five points, Lisa Shea. Well done, Lisa. Yes. Incredible. What about my girl on the end? So at the end of the first challenge, we have Lisa Shea on five points, Ali on four, and Claudia on three, with all the other girls on one point. Okay. Four challenges to go and three eliminations. This is anyone's game. Three eliminations. <laughs> Two minutes. Three. Next, our ten girls get down and dirty in a climbing competition that could be the toughest challenge of their lives. They all want to win the FHM Lara Croft Challenge, but there can be only one winner. Who will that be? Who can last the distance? That was the first part. Let's just think about what we've just witnessed, okay? So, very titillating, very one note. But you're going to push the girls in these challenges, yeah, sure. But what, what are we really doing here? What are we really doing here? It's these. And these. And these. All the girls seem very lovely. They seem very, very nice and great personalities. They're very young, very innocent. They're doing what they want to do. They want to get in, they want to be on the magazines, don't they? That guy, Cameron, gross. The producers of the show, gross. Already. 
The second challenge is tough. It's a high ropes course worthy of the elite SAS. So the slowest four girls with the least Lara bonus points will be eliminated. Uh, someone's going to get eliminated after this challenge. Oh, yes. Lara could do it. Can you? Remember, Lara would do this with grace and with style. Where's your style? <laughs> 32 there, Ali. Well done. Oh, nice work. <laughs> no, 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 don't break. No, no, you can do it. You can do it, Ale. You think this one through? You That's got plenty it. of time. Oh, wobbly chicken legs. <laughs> That's not only cool, it's sexy. Girl, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate this. Oh. Claudia, just outside the front runners on 7 minutes 50 seconds. Confidence is half the, half the game. If you're confident, you can do it. Come on, you're one of my girls. You can do this. Come on, Flavia. Get in first place. She's a rock in there around LA. No, I do like the knife. The Bobby knife has a move. Come on, Flavia. Come on, Flavia. You can do this. Flavia, 7 minutes 41. Now in second place behind Chloe. Oh, you're okay. All the way to the end. Come on. You've got the tires ahead of you. And you're taking pictures while she's doing it in such a compromised position. You horrible people. <laughs> oh, please don't take a picture of me. Take a breath. Oh, she's Lisa shit. She's Lisa shocking. Stay well outside of placing on 14 minutes. 12 Get rid of her. Get rid of her right now. Sorry, you tried your best to go. We can't hold on to anything, so we'll see. Let go of the tree. Oh, she can't even let go of the tree. She is struggling. Slowest girl, Anya finally comes back to earth. This is going to be tight. She excited me, that's for sure. Right? Yeah, and the grunt. What? And the grunt. This is going to be tight. This is going to be tight. This guy's vile. Right now, we have Chloe still leading the pack on five minutes thirty-six, with Flavia and Evelyn nice and close behind. Uh, oh my God. What did you do that for? You silly mate, you could have broke your bloody ankle. I don't need to go down the ladder. I'm so I'm so much like Lara, I can just jump off and I won't scratch myself. I won't break a bone. Because Lara doesn't, so I'm not going to. Not very elegant, but oh well. Do you want to know your time? Yeah. Five minutes thirty-one, you cracked it. You got best Sorry. time. <gasps> well done. Was it worth it though? Lisa, Marie, your elbow. Is it gonna be a hindrance? No, it's not. I'm tough, I'm gonna to get through it. She's unstoppable. Nothing can stop her. Not even a broken arm. She Stop. needs to... Ooh, oh, it's a spill. My knee's dislocated. Oh, my God. My knee has dislocated, she just said. I mean, if my knee popped out of place and it's back right, into no, place no, no, no. while hanging and sitting on a rope, yes, I'm not quite sure if I would be as calm as she was. You have to let the rope through little by little so she's lowered down. She's You're all helping her? Finishing first is one thing. But we're also here to decide who looks the part by awarding the critical Lara bonus points. She looks yeah. right there. Oh, definitely. Beautiful. That's so Lara. Well, girls, what an incredible day. How do you feel? Yeah. Yeah. And in first butt kicking place, Woo. we have Lauren. Yeah. She looks very good. She looks like Lara. I think she could win. Anya, just too slow. Tammy? A little bit slow, and your style was just a little bit out. Unfortunately, you had to go. We had to pick four, and you're one of them. Oh no, Claudia. Tammy! She's the, these three are gone, and my Tammy's gone. Unfortunately, we had to pick four to go. So it's tight. You're on your way home. So tight. Though. It was tight. It's tighter than the outfit you've got on. <laughs> this man is really enraging me. Like really enraging me. I really want to slap the shit out of him. All the best. Well done. Good on you. Bye. Bye <laughs> for coffee. You don't. Was that Chloe? She didn't do a good uh, Lara Croft kiss. You don't just go. You go. That's how you do a proper Lara kiss. Thank you. So we've we've lost four girls. Obviously Tammy. For me, she looked the best. She wasn't fast enough. She didn't have the vibe that they wanted, unfortunately. So we lost her and we lost three others that I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Which girl has got what it takes to be the FHM Lara Croft legend? Who will that be? Now we're going back to the Croft Manor. So th let's see if like the girls are getting on. This is this could be where the drama happens. 6 a.m. and someone has failed to turn Kiss up my bunny. I don't know how my confidence levels are, but 
I think everyone's got equal opportunity at the moment, so... You know, if I do any better, then that'll be fantastic. <laughs> Those outfits are fucking tight. Do you see how she was trying to get that on herself? Here we go, fucking perv guy. Pervo, not even hot. You're not even hot. They say that girls can't read maps. Well, surely Lara Croft can. Man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break my monitor. I swear. What the fuck? Who the fuck wrote this script? You deserve to be in jail. They say girls can't read maps. This show was made by misogynists for misogynists. As part of the challenge, the girls' hearts will be racing. Their blood will be pumping, but it's all about caution. They'll have to give this puppy a wide berth. The girls have to get this treasure chest using that rope without treading within this area because it's dangerous. Once they get the treasure, the clock stops. Fuck off. To make, to make it even trickier, we've randomly split the girls into two teams. Now, instead of fighting each other, they all have to work together. Now, let's see how the silver team goes. Lauren's starting to stress. This is brutal. Stop, 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 stop. stop the fucking car, bitch. Really? Let the rope go, babe. Remember, yeah. once they've lifted it up, they can't let the treasure box touch the ground. If they do, they'll lose points. So what are you gonna? How are you doing this? It's confusing to me. I, I, this is. I don't know how I do this. Is it what they do it? There you go. Done. Here we go. Well done. And they've retrieved the treasure. The tomb has been raided. A cheap Buddha from Dollar Store. Has been raided. Let's go, Red Team! Let's go! It would be so funny if she just accidentally ran over someone in production. Oh shit, you know they crashed into the tree? If Chloe can keep her Jeep on the track, this could be a record time. Ready, stop, and stop! Flavia is the girl. She's well. She's she's well on her way to winning. Oh, it's off the air. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! The cheap butter from Dollar Store. Come on! Most unbelievable score for them with the red team now on five minutes, thirty-nine seconds. These are the girls. Get rid of the other three. Just get rid of them. There's still one more challenge before the next elimination. That's when the big guns come out to play. That was a fucking full-on challenge. Well done. They all did very well with the getting the artifact bit. Yeah, the red team are my favourite anyway. Those three girls are the three girls that I care about the most. So they're going to win and the other three are gone. Anyway, so that was good. Let's see what, what was the next bit. The next bit is the firearm bit. This is like, if you, you know, this proves is you really are craft. If you can handle your gun, you'll fucking win. The girls have got a pretty rigorous challenge set before them. Oh, here she is. The third judge that just disappeared for half of the fucking episode. All right, girls, it's all about looking good and having a lot of control. Shit, okay. A test of endurance and weapons handling will win maximum points. A big help in the upcoming elimination. Go! The first three girls to race in this individual challenge are Ali, Lauren, and Lisa Shea. Lauren. We're already, it's already out. She's not stopping. She's not stopping to sort herself out. She started and she's going through with it. Lauren has broken away from the pack early. <laughs> I can't show it, but this is actually on YouTube. So I will link the original video in the description. You can go watch this bit for yourself. That boob uh, had escaped. Not easy by a long shot. <laughs> Lauren's out front. Literally no one stopped to say, honey, your boob is literally out. out. They're so disinterested. Act like you give a shit. That's what the director said to that judge. Act like you give a shit. Like, yeah. Yeah, sure. Great. Oh, she's good. That's Ali on the pump action shotgun. <laughs> she nearly blew her breast into next Tuesday. <laughs> Did you just see that? And Lauren setting the pace right the way through the race and bringing home a decisive victory. I did a good job. You did, but oh my god, that's the, that's the nipple I'm lady. I'm having trouble breathing today because I put my shoulder out yesterday. I think I did okay. You did really well, honey. Now you did amazing. For the second gun race. Go. 
Oh, here we go. We hear the, the top girls. I wonder if any of them are going to go through the water. Oh, God. Chloe's oh, I knew Chloe was going to fall. Chloe's on the AAA, a fully automatic machine gun with a rate of fire close to 500 rounds per minute. Ooh. Yes, girl. That is how you hold a shotgun. Yes. You're not going to... You're not knocking your boobs into next Tuesday. That's how you hold it. Just below the breast, not on the breast or in between the breast. <laughs> Flavia is second, but is it enough to keep her in the competition? Uh, yeah. Evelyn's last. Yeah. All these three are in. If any of these three go in the next um, chop, I'm fucking leaving the room. I'm not continuing. Oh my God. <laughs> So I thought I'd be mad at that because remember at the beginning I was like, how dare you? But Chloe, you have all the right in the world to say that, that now. While the girls powder their noses, lick their wounds and probably talk guns. Here's the misogyny again. What's one thing that women apparently do, all do? Powder the nose. That's the problem. There's amazing challenges. There's amazing things that happen, but it's coated in this misogynistic, dirty, old way of thinking. Like these girls are powerful and they are hardy and they are, they're amazing people, but you've just bringing them into that, just, you know, that misogynistic vibe. I don't like any of the judges now, actually, none of them. We need to get rid of these three. Don't get rid of three more girls, get rid of you three. Tweedledum, Tweedledee, and Tweedle Twat. Oh, that's oh, good. That's a, great, that's a shot. great shot. Lauren's just Lauren. loving it. Uh. Just Flavia's very, uh, very driven as well, don't you think? Yeah. She's action-packed, that chick. Girls, decisions made? Yep, yep definitely. definitely. Ali, your determination's there. You're awesome. You look great, but unfortunately... But unfortunately... <gasps> Ali's the one with the, the boob issue, wasn't she? Was she the one with the boob issue? Oh, no, poor Ali. So you won't be going through to the final round. You photograph really well, you look the package, but unfortunately you lost your race. Your trigger finger just let you down and uh, you might be going through to the final round. Get yourself a seat in the car. She didn't even let him finish. She's like, okay. <laughs> Halfway through his like a monologue of like disapproval and dirtiness. He was just like, okay, bye. As for the rest of you, you've got one more challenge ahead. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be fun. Dun, dun, dun. To be honest, these are amazing. Have a look at the Jeep. That's what you'll be playing for, as well as the photo shoot with FHM. So go and have a long, hard think about that, girls. Yeah. Good, Good luck, luck, girls. Lauren I fucking hate this guy. Fucking hate him. Who'll come out on top in the final breathtaking challenge? Oh, oh God. God. To match it with Lara Croft. <laughs> this is a mountain lake, so that water is freezing. That could cramp the muscles right up. What's happening there? Flavia is fighting her way past Laura. They're literally fighting each other. No, this is not a contact sport. That's the one. You shouldn't be touching each other and dragging each other down. Don't do that. Was that Flavia as well? You're disappointing me, lover. What's gone wrong here? Lauren's hurt. I knew it. She didn't. She didn't do it tight enough. Be controlled. I hope these girls were properly shown how to do it by like, you know, army people that do this normally. Flavia, close behind. You can really hear her crying, Lauren. She's winded after that five-story leap, but she's going to be okay. Winded. See, I told you that would happen, be didn't okay. I, before? I said, you got to be careful because you'll wind yourself. I was stuck behind that other girl was on the rock and I couldn't turn around, so I tried to climb up it. Blood, sweat and tears, literal blood to be Lara FHM. These, I'm sorry, but these are the top three of like the best top three that they could be. All different, all got their own vibe, all like perfect to be Lara, FHM version. Not the real Lara, obviously, because that would go to me. These three are absolutely phenomenal. Which one of these girls will be crowned the winner of the I don't FHM know. Lara Croft Challenge? Who's going to be crowned? I'm very well, excited Lauren now. Won. All right, girls, well, we had to find a winner. Flavia, you were fantastic. The Lara style was out of this world. Chloe, you blew us away with your tenacity. I could hear someone laughing then. Did you hear someone laughing over the top of that? You're a competitor. <laughs> Fantastic work. And your, your Lara style was great. And uh, and also you really you used your brain. No, there was someone laughing on that track then. That was weird. Absolutely. 36 points, a clear winner. Lauren, you are Lara. Oh, Lauren won. Lauren won. Congratulations. Oh, well done. Thirty-six points. That is very high. Well done. Croft Challenge winner. Woo 
<laughs> Keys are in the car. <laughs> get in and get driving. You've got an FHF fellowship to attend. Of a shitty Jeep that's been used. It's not brand new, as you can tell. Ew, get out. Get out. Crash the car now. Get in and crash the car. Jump out and crash the car. Well done, Lauren, though. Right, go full throttle. Make sure he fucking falls off and decapitates his head. Oh, no, there we go. Lauren with 36 points. That's massive. Like, you're going to be undefeated with that. Chloe, 29. Well done. And Flavia, 28. Amazing. Well done. The competition for me, summed up, would be just the most amazing experience. It's I've made friends forever. Hopefully we can all go no. and do some adventurous stuff. No. Some just have <laughs> My verdict on Lauren, she deserves it. She won everything and she was at the top. Stamina, strength, beauty, brains. That was a very congenial answer. Like... If there was a prize for congeniality, she, uh, Fla my Flavia would win. The whole competition, I think, was very challenging and a life experience that I'll take with me and hopefully some exposure and opening some doors for me. Well, I hope Chloe got her exposure. You go, girl. As well as the Jeep Wrangler, Lauren finally got a chance to get cleaned up so she can bask in the glow of victory at her first FHM fashion shoot. Oh, we're going to see the photo shoot. Oh, amazing. We're actually going to see it. Hurting myself. <laughs> I am feeling the Lara Croft vibe. Yes, it's coming along. Bitch, where? Bitch, where? What? What's that? What's this got to do with Tomb Raider? You've put her in a very skimpy outfit, lying on a table with a whip. What's that got to do with Tomb Raider? One of those, those spiders that kills its mate after sex. Is that that feeling? Because that's sort of what the Lara character is. It's like a uh, huge temptation, but absolutely dangerous. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? The Lara Croft journey has been fantastic. I mean work, you go, you do it. Is this not even anything to do with Tomb Raider? Like, did they just win a photo shoot to beat FHM, whatever they want her to do? Because if I won this prize, I'd go fucking ape shit. I'd be like, where's my guns? Where's my holster? Where's my set piece? Why am I not in a tomb? Why am I not in a kayak, kayaking down a troublesome river? You know, do all the high risk taking adventures like forward driving, machine gun shooting, and jumping off cliffs about 10 meters high and um, high ropes course, it was fantastic. And now living the life in this beautiful house and, and doing photos in here. So yeah, I think I've lived the life of Lara Croft pretty well. Yeah, I'm fuming. I'm fuming, that's not the photo shoot that I was expecting. After all the trials and tribulations, all the challenges, everything that they went through, that is not what I wanted. That was not the ending that I deserved. <sighs> I'm gonna say I left disappointed with that experience. Well, that was that was fun. That was a, a time capsule of a time that doesn't exist anymore. Let's just, actually, does FHM exist? Does it have a website? <gasps> there was a critical error on this website, so maybe it's non-existent. Well, I hope so, because like this and like Nuts magazines, I think it deserves to be in the past now. I think there's other ways for people to show their sexuality and they can do it on, on their own back as well. They don't need a FHM or a whatever to expose themselves or to have exposure. People these days can do it themselves because the internet exists and it's huge, okay? If there's an old show, an old Tomb Raider related show like this or like Leave Them Loaded that we watched last time, if there's anything like that, that, and I might not know about it, please let me know. You can let me know in a comment on this video or you can go to my Twitter, which is at Cleocroft and you can send me a message, tweet me, DM me, whatever you want to do. Let me know about these shows because I enjoy, I love reacting to these. Don't you think you've seen enough? So I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for joining and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. That was a bit creepy. Bye bye for now. That was like a horror movie. Like a, I'm a ghost. I mean, just goodbye. See you later.